Well, I guess it's no secret that paper doesn't fall to the ground very fast. Certainly not as fast as a rock or a bit of metal. Now let's just have a look at two fairly evenly sized bits of stuff. One metal, and that's a coin, and one paper. Let's drop them and see at what stage they hit the ground. Well, the paper takes a tremendous amount of time more than the coin. There is a way, though, that you can drop them together and they hit the ground basically at the same time. Now, you might think of screwing that up so that the air resistance isn't so much, but you can't do that. You've got to keep it flat. Smart ones might say, well, put it underneath the coin. So when the coin goes down, it carries the paper at the same weight, and weighs it uh, same speed, and weighs it down, and they hit the ground together. But you can't do that either. There is a way of dropping those two together without gluing them together at the same time so they hit the ground at the same time. See if you can work it out before we come back. Here's an incredible record offer. Seven great albums for just $8.99. That's right, seven albums for $8.99. And as an additional bonus, you'll receive these two great albums, Turn Back the Hands of Time, featuring all the great stars you remember. Yes, you'll get all seven albums for this one unbelievably low price in this amazing record offer. Not sold in stores, available only by mail. Seven great albums for just $8.99. This is a limited offer, so don't miss out. Send your order today. Well, here's the problem. A bit of circle of paper and a circle of metal, a coin, I have to drop them together so that they hit the ground at the same time. And I can't put the paper under the coin. What do I do? Well, here's what I do. I put it on top of the coin. And let's see how we go. They hit at the same time. It's a nice little trick of aeronautics, that. What's happening is that the paper and the coin both put up bas basically the same air resistance. They push their way through the air, and there's a drag on them. But the coin, being a lot heavier, is not really slowed down very much. The paper, not having much mass, is slowed down a good deal. When we put it under the coin, the coin bears it down. When we put it on top of the coin, the coin, going fast, pushes the air out of the way, and there's no air pushing on the paper, which simply falls straight on top of the coin. So that's a little test in simple aeronautics. Curiosity. 